It's time for our special backstretch feature today with our man Dick mm -hmm. Girardi. And Dick, a couple of weeks ago, you had a chance to go back and talk to the uh, Velasquez family. And yeah. this week, it's the Castillos. Tell us a little bit. Yeah, the, Freddie Castillo was a jockey here. He got his actually start here, Keith, in the early 90s. And right. then, like many jockeys, he traveled around. And a few years later, he ended up at Thistledown outside of Cleveland and met Michelle. Uh, who turned out to be his wife, okay. also a right. jockey. They got became very friendly, and a year or so later, they, they got married. I have a daughter, Amanda, and uh, they rode around the country, actually rode for several years in Chile together, wow. and had probably the first and only husband-wife dead heat in history. Wow. I can't imagine there was another one. Then, and Michelle, by the way, was extremely popular down there because they did not have female jockeys. She was right. one of the stars in Santiago, Chile. They rode at two different racetracks. Then they came back here, rode for a while. Eventually they retired and they said, hey, what's the place we kind of liked? And it was right about the time the slot money came right. in. Now they're the husband and wife training team. Uh, Michelle is the listed trainer, but they come out here every day and uh, work with their stable. And they are very much enjoying their life Absolutely. here and part of Pennsylvania racing. Here's more with the Castillos. Well, I'm originally from uh, Canton, Ohio, and I've just loved horses all my life, and I wanted to be a jockey. I was a jockey for about 15 years on and off, and then um, I found out that I really like taking care of horses and being around them basically half of my day or more. So I took out my trainer's license a few years back and my husband and I, Freddie, now have a small stable of horses and you know we really found that we enjoy it. I can't think of another place that offers the, the things that they offer here, the benefits for the horsemen. I, I can't think of any racetrack that does that. Um, Michelle got hurt last year. I think it was like 50,000 in bills. She had two surgeries, a couple, you know, a couple, uh, it was got a little touch and go there because she had a, a bad bone infection. The insurance here, they covered everything, and, and the people in the office were like, you know, if you need any help doing it, and they were. They were, you know, they were right there to stand up if, if anything was needed. And year-round racing, you can't beat it, especially, uh, we, well, now our daughter's 20, but, you know, she was here since she was five years old, never had to move schools. When, when I was a kid, my, my, my parents moved around. I think uh, by the time I was in seventh grade, I went to 15 schools, you know, and they weren't military parents. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't beat your round racing. Who, who wants to be a gypsy all, all their life, you know? We're the actual only married couple of jockeys to have a dead heat in a race, and that happened in Santiago, Chile in July of 03. That was um, July 14th of 2003, I believe. And um, I think that record is still held today. I don't think it'll ever be beat. She make, makes the lead and I'm coming from out of it. And of course, everybody says that, you know, it was intentional, but you know, when, when, you're, when they're going head and head, there's no way you can time that. And it so happens that my horse, like at the end, lugged in. So I'm riding and I'm also going this way. So everybody said that, you know, of course it, it was intentional, but no, there's no way. We were coming down to the wire and our horses, we just neither one of us gave up and it ended up being a dead heat. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> so I couldn't get mad at him and he couldn't get mad at me. We both came out winners. <laughs> I think the racing program in Pennsylvania is really on the up and I think it has been now for several years with the slots and everything and things that, you know, they do for the horsemen as far as insurance and ensuring that, you know, people have what they need and I think they try to make it a you know a friendly place for horses and trainers and Dick, as we continue to tell the folks the entire story that yep. you wrote is on let's go racing parks.com so is. log on and take a look and what you got lined up for next week well i spent some time talking recently to marshall graham uh the oh, name cool. should be familiar 10 strike racing uh -huh. the leading owner here for a couple of years and marshall's got a fascinating way uh, he, he runs his stable and of course he has horses around the country but his main stable is here at parks he lives in Tennessee, but he pays taxes here in Pennsylvania, yeah. and he's got obviously a very powerful stable here. His trainer is Carlos Guerrero. They win a lot of yeah. races.